One of the most famous rivers is the Euphrates River. The river is quite long, and it has an important place in Western Asia. The drying up of the Euphrates has caught the attention of all the people globally. As the river started drying up, many discoveries have been circulating about the findings of ancient discoveries. It has shocked the world and people are too stunned to speak about it. The Euphrates River would never go back to its previous state after this major revelation. What is the condition of the Euphrates River? Does the Euphrates River play a crucial role in the rapture? The Euphrates River spreads across Turkey, Syria, and Iraq. The melting of snow and heavy rainfall has resulted in the water content of the river. We never thought that such a flooded river would dry up. The river plays a significant importance in the Bible. The river is said to be coming from Eden. It is divided into four different branches. Gold is found in the first branch named Pishon. We can find one of the purest forms of gold in it. Jehan is the second branch. The third and fourth branch is Tigris and Euphrates. It's said the Euphrates not only limited itself to Tigris, but it flowed over the boundaries set by the people. The river plays a valuable role and it determines a lot of factors on the coming of rapture. Many cities began building around the side of the river. The Son of the Almighty would come to earth for the second return and punish the people who were not among the believers. He thought about doing good things for his people or sparing his people. He wanted us to escape from all this and have a very peaceful life. He built a world for us to accomplish that. We should be preparing for the Son of the Almighty in the coming years. We never know when his arrival will be. It could be tomorrow or even several years later. Only the Lord knows about his arrival. We cannot expect angels to know about this. It's discreet. 1 Thessalonians 4, 14, verse 16. For if we believe that the sun died and rose again, even so, them also which sleep in the sun will the Lord bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the, the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Lord, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. The Lord would take us through a journey by taking us along with him to heaven. We are mortals who live in this world. We would be transformed into an immortal by the Son of the Almighty. To be taken to heaven, we need to be believers. It's not about being in church all day or reading the Bible every single day. It's about the unconditional faith and trust you have in him. He would see your actions and he gives importance to repentance. We live in a world filled with corruption and sins. The Lord would take us along with him to heaven and give us a new chance. Only real believers would get it. The believers would turn to the Lord. Our pain as we suffer would be ended by the Lord by transforming our bodies to immortality. We would no longer suffer from bodily or mental pains and anguish. We would undergo the final resurrection. Revelation 7, 9, verse 10. After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations, and kindreds, and people, and tongues, stood before the throne, and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes, and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our the Lord which sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb. The Euphrates River ends on the Pacific Gulf by emptying itself. Since ancient times, the Euphrates River has been a major source of water used for various purposes. Majorly the water from the Euphrates River is used for irrigation. Different types of crops such as wheat and barley were yielded from it. It was not limited to just providing water, but it was used for transportation facilities too. The Euphrates River was one of the major transportation providers to the Mesopotamia region from the Mediterranean. It was marked and listed as a trade route. Euphrates had its significance and historical reference. The cultural significance the river holds is beyond explainable. The river is known as the Great River. There are many factors which led to the drying up of such a flourished river. 
It's almost unbelievable that we see a barren land instead of a beautiful river. The most interesting revelation about the Euphrates River is the scary noises being heard from there. Would it be the voice of fallen angels? Are they still present there? The sound we hear from the river is quite astonishing and blizzard at the same time. We feel like these angels are seeking help. The sound is so loud that it will never go unnoticed. This would be a sign to show that the prophecy would come true. What's written in the Bible would happen and there is nothing we could do other than try to be closer to the Almighty. We have to repent of our sins and have a positive outlook towards life in general. As the days of salvation are nearing, we need to look into our actions and try to live meaningful lives. We shouldn't even think of disguising ourselves as false believers. Every sheep would be identified by the Lord. He knows who we are and we cannot run from it. The worst drought of the decade is being faced by Iraq. Euphrates is not the source of water anymore. The lack of rainwater and poorly managed resources, along with pollution, led to this situation. The reservoir has been drained by the authorities. There were only a few days till the water would recede. This opportunity was taken advantage of by the archaeologists. This method was used to save the crops, but it led to the revelation of something much bigger. There was a metropolis present in the drained area and it was shocking news to both the residents as well as to the archaeologists. The ancient metropolis was earlier thoroughly investigated by a team, but they couldn't further continue their investigation as the water rose to the normal level. This gave them only a few days to execute a detailed study. They managed to collect certain artifacts from here. There were several infrastructures present here which included massive towers and facilities for storage. The Matoni Empire consisted of different important sites, and this site was one such prominent one. The artifacts they collected were from different places. The walls of this infrastructure were made out of sun-dried mud. How can such walls stay for a long time without collapsing? This question was a big wonder to all the archaeologists but what took them by surprise was the earlier mentioned video of the fallen angels crying for help. These angels are imprisoned at the bottom of the Euphrates River. Would they be the fallen angels or demons? A lot of people couldn't believe that still these angels are trapped inside this pit in the Euphrates River with no way to escape. If these angels managed to be released, mankind would see the biggest slaughter in its history. The angels would unleash the horsemen to eradicate one-third of mankind. Exodus 27 verse 2 And thou shalt make the horns of it upon the four corners thereof. Its horns shall be of the same, and thou shalt overlay it with brass. The revelation makes us believe that the Lord knows when and what will happen during each second. What he has planned for mankind would happen without delay, and there is absolutely nothing we can do. No action of ours could prevent such a situation. The noise of the fallen angels can be clearly heard in the video taken by the archaeologists. The proof of the prophecy coming true one by one makes us reevaluate our life. We should have unconditional faith and trust towards the Son of the Almighty. Whatever is written in the Bible is coming true one by one. There is more waiting to happen. We should be prepared for what has to come. Ephesians 6 verse 12 For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. The territory of the Euphrates River excites archaeologists as there are many areas to be explored to find out more about ancient times. The archaeologists were quite concerned regarding the bizarre voices they heard from the pit in the Euphrates River. The Lord's angels are different from that of the devil. They are never restricted or trapped. The horsemen, which would be unleashed by the fallen angels, would have a horrendous figure which would scare the people. These scary figures would be a combination of lion heads with the tails of a serpent. These two hundred horsemen would take over the world with the aid of the fallen angels in the Euphrates River. The locust swarm would be another event which we have to face. What would happen in such a grave situation?
Some people have refused to repent for their evil actions. They have no remorse. They would have committed murder, rape, theft, and other heinous crimes. In such a corrupt world filled with sins, one third of the world would be no more. They would all be annihilated. The entire unfolding of the event is to bring repentance. There would be people who would refuse to repent their sins. Their refusal would cost them everything. The unbelievers would have to undergo severe torture later on. They might think that they escaped everything possible, but little do they know what awaits them is scarier than before. The war horse would take over and these unbelievers would be tortured continuously for at least five months. The survivors would be the people who are aware of the situation, and they would have already repented.